I'm Barbara the Manatee here from Tumbling Pebble Magazine. I'm in the green room of the newest sensation that's sweeping the nation, Awkward Bowtie. They should enter at any moment for an exclusive interview to talk about their humble beginnings as a band. We're anticipating a great show tonight, boys. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, it's going to be very <laughs> good. <laughs> so for the folks at home who might not be privy to the newest fads, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and introduce yourself. Francisco Julio. Sebastian Morning Glory. Humphrey Dumphrey. Benedict the Third. Okay, so I'm going to ask the question we've all been dying to know. How did you start? Well, you see, my mom and dad really loved each other. And then they adopted me. Well, uh, actually, I meant, uh, how did the band start? <laughs> oh, that makes much more sense. Well, you see, it all started on a fateful day. We were battling mass armies of minotaurs from the far depths of the abyss. I was being overrun by the enemy. So in order to gain the tactical advantage, I tied two bows together in hopes of loosing twice as many arrows at my foes. However, I quickly realized that the bows were shooting in the wrong direction and slaying my comrades. It was very awkward. Hence, we formed a band in memory of the fallen. Awkward bow tie. Wow, that sounds really fanciful. Are, are manatars even real? Have you ever seen one? Um, no. You're welcome. <laughs> That's not how it happened. You're not going to believe this! I was playing frisbee golf, a.k.a. Frolf. My arch nemesis, Bo Pete, was practicing for the World Cup Frolf Tournament. He challenged me to a game, and I couldn't resist. At hole after hole, we both made par. Then, at hole 18, he threw a hole-in-one, with beads of sweat pouring down my face. I wound up using my grandfather's famous technique and let her go. To my amazement, it landed square on the cage. Our final score was tied at negative three. Can you imagine tying him at froth? He was so angry, there was nothing more awkward than, angry, than an angry Bo Pete. So I started the band in memory of this worse than losing an experience called Awkward Bow Tie. Interesting. Those are very different stories. Are you sure they're true? No, they're, they're not true. What happened was, I was out hunting rainbows, trying to find the pot of gold at the end. I was accompanied by a leprechaun named Biffley. We journeyed beyond the field of four-leaf clovers, climbed over the marshmallow mountains, and swam through the sea of swashbuckling sea lions. Then, finally, we found the end of the rainbow and its gold. We celebrated our discovery when suddenly Biffley tied me to the rainbow and left with all the loot. I felt silly and awkward for trusting a leprechaun. I only broke free after a storm of skittle rain eroded the rope. So when I made it home, I started our band, Awkward Bowtie. Hmm, so Francisco, I'm assuming you have a tall tale to tell as well. No, my tale isn't tall, it's quite short, and very true. I was reading my favorite book, The Complete Record in History of Nods, when a hobo ran by and stole the book out of my hands. Naturally, I felt awkward. Then in, in that instant, I decided to form a band named The Awkward Bowties. Well, we are all very excited for your performance tonight. So why don't you head on out and get ready? Ready? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> well, that was a very awkward interview, but leave it to awkward bow tie to be awkward. <laughs> oh no, where'd they go? I want the autograph. 